Yeah, I honestly really. Hold on. No. I honestly really feel bad about the girls or the people that don't cook or can't cook during this virus, y'all. Because honestly, when I tell y'all, when shit stop um, being open and things start closing, you're going to see a whole bunch of um, housewives and stuff. Because, like I said, that girl on YouTube who can't cook and will admit that she can't cook, and you can tell she can't clean, she don't clean, she let her kids leave stuff everywhere. I would be so embarrassed to have people come over my house. But, yeah, that ain't the problem. I mean, because people have kids, and kids do make messes every now and again. But that's when you make them clean up after they stuff. But like I say, y'all, I feel bad for her because all most of the restaurants are closed. But was, and then from what I'm hearing, they're talking about closing things back down again because the virus is skyrocketing back up again. Like I feel bad for her, and her family ain't gonna be able to eat nothing unless they great grandma cook. Or they granny cook, they go, she bring them something. Other than that, them poor kids. Ain't going to be able to eat a damn thing, poor babies. I just really honestly feel bad for them. All this extra shit she's spending money on going out to eat, she needs to spend money on uh, cooking classes. Hell. At least learn how to boil rice. Because baby, when I tell you she can't even make cookies with the recipe. She can't even boil asparagus without it being nasty. And I ain't never ate asparagus. But judging by the look on her son's face, when she made the asparagus, and he had to eat that, she told him he ain't going to leave the table until he eat it. And he actually told her that it was nasty. Baby, he done got used to eat that or he done got used to going out to eat all the damn time. Girl, no, I can't. mm, -mm. Ain't no way in homeboy hell I'm going to be able to do that. See, I'm the type, I like to spend, I like to save money. If I say I like to spend money, the hell, uh-huh. Even if I do have the money to go out to eat all the time, I'd rather save that and go. Buy me some food at the grocery store and eat in the house. Fix it myself and eat. And see, that's another thing. Well, she always going grocery shopping. Like I said, why are you going grocery shopping? You can't even fucking cook. And you have admitted to many people you can't cook. So, why is it that you feel the need to go grocery shopping? Mm. I mean, damn, she can't even make a damn tuna salad. I can make a tuna salad. How the hell can you not make a tuna salad? I can make tuna salad with eggs. A two-month-old can make a tuna salad. Hell, a one-year-old can make a tuna salad. Now, I can see not making a tuna salad because of a certain way that somebody like it. But damn, she can't even boil water. She can't boil rice. She can't make no damn tuna salad. What the hell? Can she do anything? But y'all, I don't know. Y'all just pray for her. I'm not bashing her. I'm just saying. I feel bad because the restaurants and stuff is closed. And I don't, a part of me don't feel bad because of her personality. How she is. How she acts. She's flashy with her money. All I can say is, that's your money, you do what you will with it. But, don't be surprised. And I'm saying this really. Don't be surprised. When something happens, when you start um, being so flashy and people start coming to you asking you for money, or you so damn flashy and please something, something happen, I hope it don't. But people start stealing from you, breaking and entering and all that. Since you saw flashy, they feel like, oh, well, you out there flashing, so you got a lot of money. 
You never supposed to flash your money. You never supposed to tell people how much you got. Cause baby, anything can happen. But hey, if she bring it on herself, ain't shit nobody else can do about it. Cause she out it herself. I understand YouTube pay you to do what you do, but damn. That's why I never really understood. Why do these people be doing how much I made on how much we make on YouTube videos? That ain't none of nobody's business. It's just like you going to work and telling everybody how much I make at work. And now it's like so damn. They done ate out so many damn times. They done been putting so much debt her husband had to get a second job. Like, y'all, that shit is just not cute. Y'all husband ain't got that kind of damn money. Y'all ain't got that kind of money. The way y'all making everybody believe y'all do or y'all want everybody to think you do. And I'm the last person to want to talk to have to, to uh, talk. Because, hell, I ain't the richest thing on earth. And I am by far in any means in the position to talk about somebody. But I'm just saying. If you're going to be flashy, expect what all comes with it, being with it. I mean, you can't just up and be flashy and all wild and out there and not think nothing's going to happen to you. Or it's a possibility that something's going to happen. Because like I say, something, it's a possibility that something would happen. You out there flashing all this and that. Your husband had to get a second job because y'all shops are like... Go out to eat a lot. I spend money frivolously. Like y'all spend money that y'all don't even fucking have. And then y'all spend it before y'all can even make it back. How the hell did y'all even afford a house? She said at one point in time she was working. That's how she met her husband at work. But. I mean I'm happy for y'all. Find love any way you can. Get it how you live to each his own, sweetie. But, I don't know. I honestly really don't know. I just say pray for them because this is going to be hell. I know that quarantine was really hell. I pray that God continue to bless them. Because, baby, they're going to need it. Everybody needs it, to be honest with you. And I know I definitely need to be blessed. But my thing is, she needs to quit being flashy. And try to learn how to start saving. Any kind of way she can. Anything that'll save some kind of money. That'll bring money into the house instead of out of it. She need to be investing in that. Like, going to culinary school, yeah, you got to pay for it, but at least you'll know how to cook. Then eventually, that'll start bringing back more money into the house. Because she'll go grocery shopping and want to cook at home. She could do a YouTube video about that. Going to culinary school. Because I'll be looking at all these other channels and be like, damn, that's a shame. All these other women putting in effort. And not learn, either learning how to cook or cooking. For their family. Because they don't want somebody else to come do it. That should make you feel less than a person. You got somebody else coming to cook for your family. And your husband and all that. And your kids. And y'all people. Like they cooking better than they like yours. Like I say y'all. That's a just. That's a load of shit. Bro. I can't do it. But hey. That's her lifestyle. I ain't got to live it. She lives the way she wants to live. All I can say is, more power to you, sis. If that's how you want to live, more power to you. That's your money coming out your pocket that you gonna wish you had for your two kids. Excuse me, for your two kids, it's college fund that you ain't gonna have. Cause you spending it shopping and going out to eat. I can't say nothing about shopping, cause bitch, I like to go shopping. But hey. That's between you, your husband, and God. 
I'm going to just send all my prayers and everything that way. Y'all do the same. God bless y'all. Thank y'all for listening. Bye, y'all.